Because so many were made, and they were made so well, working Wilcox Gibbs sewing machines are readily available at reasonable prices, which makes them an excellent choice for starting an antique sewing machine collection. If you want one of these little gems, but don't have the room for a treadle base and don't like the versions with electric motors, the remaining option is to equip one with a hand crank. Two versions are available, the British upright and the slightly rarer and more expensive American base. Each has its pros and cons, which is better depends on how it's going to be used. The British style uses a belt drive, which is extremely smooth and quiet, but requires a base to hold the machine and crank together. The belt stretches in time, requiring periodic shortening, and the height of the design does give the machine a taller appearance. The American style has its own base, so no additional one is needed, though this one is mounted on a wood plaque for appearances. The American base uses a gear system, which is much noisier, rougher, and harder to turn. On the other hand, it makes four stitches per rotation, compared to the British unit's three. Here's how the British hand crank sounds. Here's the American. Which is better depends on how the machine is to be used. If it's for sewing, the quieter, smoother, easier to turn British type is better. If the machine is primarily for display, the American base provides a lower, sleeker profile, and if the wheels are polished, shows them off to better advantage. I hope anyone trying to decide which type of Wilcox and Gibbs hand crank to get found this comparison helpful. To see all the machines in my wife's and my collection, please visit our website at waynesthisandthat.com. Thanks for watching.